God. I was trusting in God in 2014 for something, and it did not come true. But 2016, as I say, this is my year of divine settlement. And it's here. I have it in my possession. I was hoping that I get it on time for my birthday, but I thank God that it's here before my birthday. Thank you. Give me joy when I cry on my tears. He gives me joy when I cry on my tears. He gives me joy. He gives me joy when I cry on my tears. Good morning, church. Two weeks ago, my foot was swell at a big size. I had to wear pants even up the Good Friday and the Sunday after. Sister Ellen prayed for my foot a couple of Tuesdays ago, and she said, when pastor call up for healing, go up the pastor for healing. And last week, Tuesday, when I passed on the mantle, when pastor said, all who sick, I didn't even get up the first time, I get up the second time. And I want to give God praise and thanks, because at least today, I think I'm right down, but at least I could wear a skirt up to my knees this week. He is a miracle working God. He is a miracle working God. Good morning, church. I want to thank God for his blood that he shed on Calvary because I used to bleed for two years straight. I had the bleeding fly boy till I was at the point where I had to run the hospital at night because my blood count was just too. If I had stayed home that night, I would have died. So I want to thank God. Call the doctor and say, how you could be awake and your blood count is two. When your blood count is two, it's being a coma. So I want to thank God. When I come to this church, I still had the fibra. It was still bleeding. And pastor touched me. And today when I go back, I have a report that I am clean of fibroid. Yeah. But they say... But the doctor is saying they don't know if it would come back. But I'm not looking for comeback. I'm looking Good morning, for church. Well, I like to give thanks and praise to the Lord for what he has done for my mother. From old years night, my mother went into the hospital. She's in New York because she had sugar and she was about to lose her leg. And I know my family don't have the faith. A lot of them went in the hospital and died. And I came into this church and I stand in the gap from that time. And I pray for my mother because the, the sickness was, was taking over her whole leg, going to the other leg. And as God works, it's, it's deliverance. I believe and trust, and I get my mother to pray, and she pray with me, and I call her Sunday and Wednesday when I fast, and we pray together. But now they took off the leg, and she's in recuperating, but the pain was so much for her. But now she's in rehab, now overcoming that, that sickness. She's getting healed, she's getting better, and she's trusting in the Lord. So I give thanks and praise for the Lord for bringing her through and healing and delivering her. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. He's a he good never God. Fail me yet. He never fails me. Last week, Tuesday was my first visit here, and it was a blessing. From the time I entered this church, I know it's where I belong. Amen. Pastor was saying that there were three angels in the church, and when he, I was downstairs, and when he said that one is here, I felt a, a, a touch of, like a drop of water on my feet. A drop of water can pass through your skirt and pass through your tights, and you're going to feel it. Good. And with that, I felt like cold coming down my head into my mouth. And it started swallowing like this cold. You know, it's like I catch a cold. Did I remember the touch of the water? It's a miracle. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When situation come upon you suddenly and you feel like you want to panic, I want you to take, trust God. Keep your eyes on God that not situation, no problem is too hard. Sometimes we get panicked and get confused. But in that moment, just say, call upon your God and he will come true. I was away for about two weeks. And my little nephew, he, I was in the kitchen. I was preparing dinner and I heard 
when he fell. He fell from a chair to a concrete. And beloved, when I hear this, and honestly, I was like, say, this is serious. He was crying, he could not have catch his breath. Instantly, there was fever in his head, and I hold him. I say, God, and I call upon the God of Elijah. I call upon the God who answered by fire, because I know that was serious. Beloved, instantly, that headache leave him, and he was back to normal. I want to thank God because he is able. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. I can testify about the miracle working power of the water. On Tuesday, when pastor said we'll have a double, he said those who were sick pass under the mantle. Well, I didn't go because I had passed Friday. So I remember my sister at home. She's in a wheelchair 18 years now. And she showed me a little ulcer that she had. And to my surprise, when I went back, she showed me how this thing deteriorated big like this, and it started to get green around the edge. And when she went to the doctor, they said, go quickly for treatment at the hospital because she's afraid they might have to, gangrena stepped in, and they might have to amputate. So I said, Dev is a liar. And I took that water to her on Wednesday. And I saw her drink this water by faith. And she sprinkled on the ulcer. Even though it was bandaged, she sprinkled it through the bandage. Yesterday, I took her for dressing at the clinic. And when the doctor saw that foot, he said, my God, it isn't smelling. It has closed up. It's beginning to be red or pink. That shows it's healing. And everything is well. So I praise God for the anointing in this house. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a good God. He's a healing God. Father, we thank you today. We're going to seal those testimonies with the blood of Jesus.